Hey, hi ho, and howdy everyone, my name is Shannon Olshook, and it's take number, like, five. That's not a joke. Technically, I think it's actually four, but, you know, is what it is. Um, yeah, so anyway, I am, uh, sitting down with you guys again to talk about some stuff. Um, and it's not awesome, to say the least, um... I didn't need me to tell you that. Um, but yeah, no. So we're here to talk about Monica Magica again, obviously, if you've been around for a minute. This has been a show I've had a, I had, I had a bit to talk about, um, <clears throat> and both in very good ways and in ways that kind of really suck. Um, again, it's kind of going to be one of the latter ones. Um, a, a couple things before we do get started. Um, one, uh, I literally, again, because like I said, this is my third or fourth time trying to start this, um, because I kept noticing something that I've talked about before, like mentioning something going on with OBS, which I think is basically what was telling me like, hey, yeah, no, when this is happening, that's when the screen starts to turn into a slideshow, because I know you guys have obviously had to deal with that uh, a few times now, and I don't know what the fucking problem is. Um, that being said, I literally did just press a random button. It's not random, but it's, it's, it is a button that I don't know what it actually does, but I pressed it, so it hasn't shown up since. I tried doing a little mini video test to make sure it wasn't doing it. Maybe I fixed it. I don't know what happened, but I pressed a button, so maybe it doesn't look like shit. If so then I guess my videos are fixed. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm pressing it just as, as long as it doesn't break completely, that would be fantastic. Cause luckily you don't have to actually look at this video. You can just listen to it in the background if you really care to. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so that was one thing I wanted to get through. Uh, and another thing I just wanted to get through is, um, on a happier note, um, your boy has officially gotten all of Pokemon uploaded. He has uh, gotten the last of all of We Never Learn uploaded. Um, I just have to get uh, two episodes of Nichijou and one of Your Lie uploaded. Uh, and The Last of Grisaia is up. And then it's just a bunch of leftover Fire Emblem from fucking forever ago that we've talked about already. Um, but anyway, the, the point being, um, there was a whole lot of stuff pre up there and set up and ready to go. And I just have to, uh, get it out there and released. So I'm, I'm really happy that that's all there. So hopefully we shouldn't have any real days where we're missing stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to say that cause I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it and it's up there. Um, so those should be being released and going, um, the only thing I don't have any like pre-recorded stuff for at the moment is Monica, um, because I'm it's 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 going very much at a it's coming out as I'm doing it sort of thing instead of uh, building up a preset of it just because you know it's Monica. Speaking of Monica, so let's get to the actual point in this video. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't win. Um, so yeah, we we've we've talked about since before Monica actually fully started on the channel that I have obviously been spoiled on stuff for Monica for a bit now. Um, yes, it's one of these. Um, you yeah, know, like, obviously, we, we've talked about it in fairly good detail, and uh, obviously not going to be particularly vague here in this, um, because, again, that's kind of the whole point, is to not be vague and to explain to make sure you guys know exactly what's going on, because it doesn't feel right to me to not say anything. So I'm going to say something, even though it's going to suck. Um, anyway, obviously, uh, we've talked about this since before the show, even really started on the channel about how I've been spoiled on mommy and spoiled on fucking soccer or who's or what's it miss East too goddamn much. I can't say nothing. I can't say it. Let's be real. I said, I've been doing really good as of late by that. I mean like the past week 
Keep it up, dumbass. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, so, like, those are things. Obviously, I've talked about the tone long before and stuff like that. So, there's been things that I've been spoiled on. And always spoil on in the dumbest, most random, out there, bullshit ways physically possible, of course. Um, and and before anyone does get uh, concerned or worried, this has nothing to do with the comments. Um, the comments have been extraordinarily fucking good uh, since we've been going. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's people who can slow down a little bit here and there, but f like for the most part, like no one... No one has ruined anything for me in the comments. Everyone has been very, very good. They've been very supportive. They've been a ton of fun to talk to. They have added a ton to my fucking experience. And they have been looking out for me. And so yeah, I this this doesn't have anything to do with the comments or anything like that. Um, Because it's, again, random bullshit. Um, yeah. Um, to be fair, not as dumb as getting spoiled in a reference or... Uh, getting spoiled in the comments of a of a of a song on YouTube that has nothing to do with Monica, but just so happens to have a picture of soccer in it that I didn't realize who that was at all. Because why would I know who that is? Cool. Um. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. I'm I'm gonna try and walk you guys through this, and as a heads up, I think for realsies this time, this is going to be the one video I do take comments off of. Um, not because I don't want to talk to anyone, but very specifically because I want to kind of pretend this doesn't exist. You know what I mean? I I kind of. I don't want anyone to really say anything about it. Kind of at all. I don't I don't want anyone to confirm it. I don't want anyone to deny it. I don't want anyone to say like, "Oh shit, I'm sorry that you got spoiled." I don't I don't want I I want to pretend it never happened so that I can experience the show as best as I can with the with the illusion <laughs> at the very least that hey maybe it was a misunderstanding and hey it is technically possible that it was a misunderstanding i just find it to be impossibly fucking weird and the timing was so incredibly perfectly wrong that i i cannot express we'll okay let's just ex okay okay explanation two weeks ago three three it would have been three yeah because two was the last one, because then I had to have the week where my life imploded. <clears throat> so three weeks ago, I watched Monica episode four. And towards the end of episode four, I went on to say, uh, like right about at the end as, as I was leaving, something along the lines of, hey, um, <clears throat> I don't I don't like saying theories out too much. Uh, because some people already know where I'm going with this. Um, especially if it's right, people know where I'm going with this and that makes it hurt that much more. Um, point is, um, I, I kind of ended the video saying that I, I don't always like to throw out theories that I have, even if I have a bunch of shit bouncing about in my head because I look like a dipshit when it's wrong. Because you look like a doofus. Um, basically, I said something like that. And then, of course, in the comments of that, people were being very supportive. And, and I remember there's one person in particular. I can't remember who it was. Uh, but it said something along the lines of, Hey, man, just just run with it. That's, that's, that's the fun of something like this. Don't worry about it. We're here to listen to your crazy, weird theories and random bullshit. That's, that's why we're here and stuff like that. So, again, people were super supportive. I saw that and was like, Hey fucking a you're right so yeah uh, flash forward a week later to episode five and i do kind of try and take that to heart a little bit and take a little moment to talk about some stuff i don't talk about a ton um but i talk a little bit about things mostly uh the, the, i think the biggest thing was uh kind of discussing just where i thought 
things were going, uh, you know, in the depressing, fatalist fucking nightmare that is this show. Um, with, the, with probably the biggest pet takeaway being like, I don't know about what the fuck's going to happen with Homer by the end. Monica seems a real 50-50 on how she she comes out of it as the protagonist supreme and shit like that. And, and Sayaka, I have no faith that that ends happily for. Um, basically, that was what I came out with. So that was one of the big things I said. And then there was the other thing I said, half-jokingly. And I have to say half-jokingly because I said it to be funny... But I did kind of legitimately believe there was some possible... There, there there, was an air of, like... There was reasons for me to have said it. There was reasons that I would have ever... That, that would have ever popped into my mind. Like, there, there is... If it turned out to be true... Which we will get to... Um, sh- should it turn out to be true... I wouldn't be like, this makes no sense. I'd be like, oh, shit, that might make some sense. Basically, that was where I was at. And the thing I said was, of course, Homer's a fucking time traveler. Um, Again, half jokingly. So, <laughs> I then proceeded to just end the episode. Sit back. Uh, set the set set the audio the fucking noise reduction on. Go ahead and get the thing exported and get sent away. And like, yeah, cool. I'm awesome. I'm gonna sit down, and I'm gonna relax, and I'm gonna just chill for a bit. It's been a fucking day, cause any day you're recording Monica is a thing, even when it's a tolerable episode. Um, you know, just living living our best one day at a time. Um. It was within 30 minutes to an hour. Like, literally. Like, it took no time whatsoever. And that is, I think, what upsets me the most, is I've never gone from zero to fucking, oh, fuck, so quickly, it's not even funny. Um, While just minding my own fucking business, not, like, searching for anything, like, just, just, just try and... Just existing on the internet. I. <laughs> just existing on the internet. I'm randomly scrolling about living my best life. And I see. While looking about at art and shit. Again, not looking for it. I have I feel like I have to say that because I have talked about looking up Monica art before. Um uh, anyway, I'm just going about and I see one of the thumbnails pop up and I glance over it for a quarter of a second and my eye immediately goes to Oh shit. Steinsgate, that's Okabe. Oh, that's awesome. I love Okabe. He's great. I don't know if you've ever seen Steins Gate. It's a fucking fantastic show. It's one of my favorites. It's an absolute delight. Okabe is the shit. Um, and and I will quickly throw this out here. Um, I I don't think it is a crazy spoiler to say that uh, Steins Gate as a show revolves around time travel. Is it's what it is what it's about. It's like saying like if like saying that's a spoiler is like saying fucking Monica Magica is a fucking Monica is a is a, is a goddamn magical girl show. There's probably more context to it, but you can kind of just tell by looking at it. Um so yeah, like anyway, that's what that is, and obviously he has a role to play in that. So I'm like, cool. I love Okape. I've seen Steins Gate. I've seen it. Therefore, I should not need to be afraid of it. Of course, I have not seen Steins Gate Zero, so of course that is something to always worry about. But I try and take precautions around that sort of thing. But Steins Gate proper, I've seen that shit. I watched it with my eyes. I did it here on the channel even. It was really great. So my fear hadn't kicked in yet. So anyway, I glance over there and I see it. Um... And again, it's just kind of a thumbnail, so I'm not really looking at it. I can't tell if there's any text or anything like that. I still don't know if there's anything like that. But anyway, I see that, and my eye, curious, because now I've seen Okabe, immediately goes to who else is in the image. 
and it's Homura. And I'm like, oh, wait, what? Shit. Oh, damn it. I should avoid this. Um, But anyway, I, 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 I notice her and I'm like, huh, that's weird. Okay. And then my brain picks up on the third entity in the image. And if it was and if it was just Okabe and Homura, I don't know if it would have clicked. And if it wasn't 30 fucking minutes after I had just said out loud, ha ha, Homura's a time traveler, ha ha, maybe it wouldn't have clicked. But... Like, like you could make up some sort of extra context for having Okabe and Homer in the same picture. Like, I'm sure you could... Like, they both have black... Like, you could... They both have black hair. Like, you could make some shit up. You can find an additional context to that. I don't think you can possibly find an additional bit of context to justify Marty McFly in the same fucking image. I don't understand. I'm so upset. I... Okay. Now, again, to be fair, there's always the smallest amount of like, hey, who knows? There could be potential for some shit to be wrong, for for there to be extra context, for me to have misunderstood, for me to have completely missed that that isn't actually him. But, of course it is, because it looks like him, and no one fucking looks like Marty McFly. And, again, why would any... Doesn't even make sense he'd be in a fucking goddamn fucking anime character. Point is... Like, so much shit lined up all at once, and it shot me in the face like a fucking shotgun. So I'm a fucking time traveler, and did I actually, number one, say it, and then immediately have it confirmed in some of the most random bullshit fan art, random, out of nowhere, completely non-searched for, fucking, I'm just trying to breathe, and it's there, fucking goddamn image of these three people sitting at a table, and kind of in that same sort of meme format that I'm sure you've probably seen, where, like, you have, like, multiple characters, and they're sitting at a table, or they're sitting at the the bar or whatever, and they're all, like, talking about how fucking they have... Oh, you know how, like, it's... It's, it's like if you put Master Chief and Isaac Clark next to each other, and they were, like, fucking space zombies. I mean, I, am I right? And they're like, fuck, yes. Um, it's, it's one of those things. At least that's how it appeared to me, because immediately when it clicked what was happening... My brain went, fuck, and then ran in the opposite direction, but of course, by then, it's too late. That's how I always act with something like this, like, oh, fuck, and then it's too late. So, anyway. That, um, that, that is, that is what I'm here to talk about. Now, again, I don't know. Obviously, there is room for that to be totally some weird shit, but I, it's, it's so perfect in how bullshit it is, it's incredibly upsetting. It's not even like I put out that episode, and then someone could have sneakily been like, oh, let's fuck with him on the internet. No, like, it was, it was, I recorded the episode, and then within the next hour, I had gotten hit with it, and it, like, this thing is, like, if I hadn't said something, I don't know if it would have clicked. I would just would have been, what the fuck is this? And if if I if I didn't know what Steins Gate is, I wouldn't have fucking clicked at all. If I didn't obviously know what Back to the Fucking Future is, I don't even like Back to the Future that much. But, like, I still know what it is, because I exist on the Earth. Um, so, <laughs> like... Like, if it hadn't been that, and... And again, if, if if he hadn't been fucking there, because, again, you can make up an extra context for why Okabe and Homer would be in the same picture. You could just be like, hey, these are my two favorite characters, fucking A. Um, but, there's, but there is no other context for Marty McFly. Period. There isn't. There's none. There is no context but time travel. That's it. Nothing. 
there was nothing. Um, so it's it's so impossibly upsetting how quickly that happened. So anyway, I've been sitting that on that for like two weeks. Um, I I, I obviously I put out episode five and didn't talk about it in there because again I had already recorded it because this happened immediately after that and then I had to take kind of a week because again my life kind of got fucking terrible uh, and amazing and beautiful and everyone I can't express the love um, that I feel for the love that I got from everyone but still went crazy and like that's the thing is too is like it didn't even happen during the week I had to take a break it happened immediately after There's obviously always a possibility that I misunderstood something, that there is some sort of extra context, that it was literally random crazy bullshit. We've talked about this before on this channel. Sometimes people just draw weird shit for no reason. It doesn't make any sense, and they were probably high when they did it. But it was so perfectly timed, and it was just, like, it, it, I can't, my brain can't register another possibility and it's really upsetting. To be fair, there are some things about it that at least alleviate the pain a little. One, while it does suck because maybe if I hadn't said anything, it wouldn't be as prevalent in my brain and I would have just completely just glazed over the image and moved on. I am glad that I said it first. Like, I, I vocalized it. And again... It was half as a joke, but there was legitimate reason for me to make the joke in the first place. I do think there are things that, like, if it does turn out to be true, which, again, I'm, at this point, way more assuming that it is the case than not. Like, I... I wouldn't... Like, like it, there, there's possibility for that to totally make sense in the right context, and depending on how things go. Like, I, I'm glad I said it. I'm glad that I, that the idea came to me, that there was enough there in my fucking dumbass head for me to go, oh, what if this, before it went, oh, hey, what if this, you know? I, so, like, it doesn't fix it, obviously, but that does give me a little bit of peace and solace because I'm like, hey, I said it first. I didn't have something come in and corrupt my fucking view. No one gave me some sort of hint. No one gave me some sort of idea. No one fucking poorly worded something in the comments that gave it away. I fucking came to that possibility on my own and said it. I didn't really go into it because, again, I was kind of fucking joking. <laughs> But, like, I didn't really go into it. And I've, I've debated whether I want to go into it too much. I don't really have too much I can say about it because I only have so much reason to believe that that would even be a possibility in the first place. Um, mostly coming down to things like, you know, um, there clearly being more to Madoka and Homura's situation between them. Uh, kind of how the first episode starts off with that weird fucking scene. Um, you know shit like that and how Ma Homura clearly knows more about Madoka almost like hey almost like you've been there once before or something like that like, something like that uh we obviously don't know everything about Homura by a thousand miles we don't know if there's like w w she got some special she can do perhaps it's fucking magic so that throws a wrench in things, right? Because you can just... Because it's magic. I'm still not goddamn certain you can't bring people back to life. I know that's what Homer said, but I don't believe that shit for a second. I don't know what to trust you. I don't think you're a bad person. I don't mean I fucking trust you. <laughs> I don't know. Like, for me, there was reasons for me to have said it. So that's why I fucking said it. Um, that and because I thought it was funny. And then that happened. Um, 
So while it's really, really annoying, I'm at least glad that hap- that happened when it did. Because if I hadn't said that, and it still affected me the way it did, then I couldn't have said that. I, you, I, I couldn't have honestly come in this next episode, or here, or episode 6 or something like that, and said, hey, by the way, this happened. I guess I kind of felt it a little, but I didn't say it. Like, no, I, I said it first doesn't fix it though um that being said (sighs) while it really sucks and i hate being spoiled on anything let alone monica which i've already been spoiled on to fucking back um i don't think it ruins my experience at all like i hate spoilers but usually spoiler isn't going to ruin something for me it uh, i mean it will ruin it for me to an extent but it won't ruin it. It won't make the journey not worth seeing. Like, if I've made anything clear, I hope it's that I want to sit through and experience this fucking show. And even though it's it's fucking really rough at times, and I'm going to need to slow down, I'm going to need to take breaks, and I'm going to need to talk to you motherfuckers, I'm going to need to do all this shit. I still want to go through with it. I wanted to go through with it when I knew Mommy was going to die. I want to go through with it knowing that Sakura is going to die. I want to go through with it having significant confidence that Homer is a fucking time traveler. Or that has used some sort of magic to uh, do some shit. I don't know. There's potentially more to it. And... But yeah, I I still want to go through it even having done this shit. It just, it really sucks. And it's most infuriating because it isn't just me. It is, like, it's not, like, I've talked about it before, but it's so fucking upsetting as someone who makes this kind of content to get this kind of content completely fucked over for you guys. I hate it so fucking much because while, yes, it ruins my experience to an extent, it ruins your guys' experience just as much, if not even more, than it does mine. You guys are specifically here to see how I fucking deal with shit and react to it and handle things and watch it and go like, fuck, that's crazy, or be like, oh, I was fucking right, Homer's a goddamn time to, like, you guys are here for that shit, and when this shit happens, it completely fucks it up, and I know that that's how it works, because I, I watch reaction videos, I'm in the audience of other people doing stuff, I can't tell you how many times I've watched a fucking Ruby reaction, and I get to a part or two, and if you know what goddamn sh- the show, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, and you and you get there, and someone has to be like, "Fuck, I already knew about this," and you're like, "Shit." Well, that really sucks, because like you, you're there to watch people and see how they react to these things, and when they've seen them beforehand, it really, really sucks, and. I don't think it's my fault. I honestly don't. Again, it was completely out of fucking nowhere. But it feels awful as the person you're here to watch see this stuff. Like, it's incredibly fucking upsetting. Because I know what that feels like, and I hate that. I hated it with Mommy, I hate it with fucking Sakura, and I hate it with this. Like, a spoiler doesn't save me completely. As we've clearly fucking discussed, I knew about Mommy before I even fucking started, and Mommy ruined my fucking existence. Because of the context, because of the when, because of the how, because of the where, because of all of that shit. But still, that really sucks. That really sucked. And the soccer thing is really going to suck. And this is really going to suck. Again, how they do it, when they do it, how they discuss it, obviously is going to have an effect, but it's going to be a different situation than a death. And, like, that's the thing is, like, with a death, I, I personally consider a character dying more an offensive spoiler. I I consider it more of a problem, something that upsets me much more. 
but still it's still so fucking frustrating it's so frustrating as the person trying to enjoy the show and it's even more frustrating as someone who's trying to put this out there for you guys Especially because I know how many of you are so fucking excited and happy watching this fucking series. And you're like, you can't wait for so many of these things. And I I have no doubt that, yeah, again, assuming this all is correct, there's so many people out there who are like, I can't wait for him to fucking see this shit. Especially after the last episode when I fucking called it. Because I know there's going to be someone in there who's like, he fucking said, he fucking said the thing. Fuck. And then this has to come out and they have to go. fuck because it's it's i just i hate it man i hate it so much that's all i can say i hate it i am so fucking sorry again it's not even my fault i acknowledge that i didn't fucking do it i didn't do anything but i still hate it so much and i hate that it affects you guys if it was just me then i could just be mad for that and be done with it but it's not just me god damn that sucks <sighs> so anyway that's where i've been that's what i've been kind of alluding to in the, in the last couple comments i responded to on the last episode um that is something i've been sitting on for the past week or two Yeah, and, and it just sucks. Again, it doesn't ruin the show by a mile. I am so glad I said it. But yeah, it just sucks. Again, there's always the potential that it that there's some sort of miscommunication or something. And if there is, I don't want to know. I do not want to know. It's yeah. So I I do think I'm going to actually take the comments off of this one. I've, I I considered doing the same with the likes and dislikes as well, just because, you know, because that can almost kind of give an impression. I mean, only to so much of an extent. Nowhere near as much as a comment can. Um, but yeah. So I'm probably just gonna do that. It, it, don't worry. It's not because I'm worried about you guys doing anything wrong. It's just because I I don't. I don't want it confirmed. I don't want it denied. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I don't want anyone to do anything because all of that in its own self confirms and denies things and gives impressions. And I don't want to do that any more than I already have. What I want to do is this. I want to put this out so that you guys know what's up. So that you guys can be either collectively all incredibly fucking depressed or all be like, oh, fuck, he's so totally wrong and he doesn't know it. He's okay. Um... <laughs> One of two things. Either way, I want to be as upfront, honest, and transparent with you guys as I can with this sort of thing. Because I, I've always kind of been vague about spoilers before. Because I don't like to potentially ruin it for someone who happens to be watching it for the first time. That's not a fucking thing anymore. We're not going to do that. I had just, no. I'm going to talk about how I've been spoiled. Because you guys are owed that. And just... Don't watch it for the first time with me. <laughs> watch it on your own, then watch it with me. It's a bad idea. I know some people do that, and it's really sweet. But I'm already going to ruin it for you anyway, just because I can never shut the fuck up. But, um, yeah. So just, I, I, I wanted to get that out there and say that because you guys deserve it. You guys are owed the best thing that I can give you. And sometimes the best I can just give you is honesty. Is information. And is an apology. Because it sucks. Um, yeah, so uh, that's probably how this is going to go. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get around to recording the next episode. Um, I'd like to record more stuff today, but I am very, very fucking tired. Uh, I wanted to get a lot more sleep in, but it's the fucking 4th of July, so people have been firing off fireworks next to my head all goddamn day. So there was no sleep to be had. Um, I 
yeah so anyway i'm gonna put this up again i'm probably gonna leave the comments off uh i hope you guys understand why uh i i i'm not gonna turn off the comments on the the rest of the series or anything like that i just ask that we please don't bring it up just just please don't don't talk about it don't don't be don't don't apologize don't be Say I don't be worried about me for it. I just kind of want to forget about it. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to forget about it. But I want us to just kind of not let it be a thing enough to talk about it to confirm anything. Until until it happens. Once it happens, we can fucking go off about how bullshit the situation is and how much it sucks and how much I'm sorry that it happened, how bummed everyone is. Like, we can discuss it then. And if it doesn't happen, if it is wrong, if it, if it didn't happen at all and all that shit, then let me stew in my theory. Um, and we'll talk about it once we finish the show. Once we probably once we finish Rebellion, I'd imagine, because I I don't know. Because if it doesn't happen in the show, but it does still potentially happen in Rebellion, then obviously we won't talk about it till then. Um. Yeah, man. It sucks, and I'm very, very sorry. Um, I'm I'm sorry that n number one either is right, and it has been ruined, and it sucks. And again, it's not completely ruined. There's always potential for there to be more, and the context matters, and the situation matters, and the reasoning matters, and how matters, and shit like that. But it does really suck. So I'm sorry that either that happened or that I've wasted uh, 40 minutes of your time freaking out about something that is legitimately a bad theory combined with the most impossibly perfectly timed and established piece of art. It was so weird. Anyway, that's where I am. That's where you guys are now. So, um, again, I don't know when I'm going to get around to episode 6, but that should be coming out this week at some point. Uh, I have not gotten down to record it yet, so who knows. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to end up recording this week. Uh, I would like to get around to getting to more Yorlai and Nichijo, because those are two uh, that need a little more work. Same with Grisaya, uh, because I'm starting to catch up with those again on the channel. Um, again, I'm really happy. Pokemon is all set up and ready to go. There's like five episodes. Uh, two are officially out with one of them being on Patreon. Um, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, I'm going to do what I can to fucking burn through editing and uploading and exporting um, the fuck out of um, Fire Emblem stuff. Uh, so I can get all that uh, set up because I want to fucking clean the fuck out of my computer uh, because I have so many like already exported and edited fucking videos but they're so random and I don't organize anything and it pisses me off and so I don't know what I need still I, the, the only thing that I know that I need is I know there's three fucking videos out there that I need and I know that there is a bunch of fire emblem at least i can tell which ones are the fire emblem so i know that but there's three episodes in there there's a there's two nichi joes and the yorlai in there hidden away somewhere i don't know where the fuck it is so i have to find them get those edited so that i know i can clear out all like these face cami videos and stuff like that so it's it's a thing um there's that uh, is there anything else with the channel I want to talk about? Um, I'm gonna hopefully, I think I think I might try recording one more thing today, and that would be um, that would be uh, fucking the next episode of Twilight Wings, which just came out. So I might I might I might hop on that. Uh, there's a, there's an adorable Sonya in the thumbnail, and I want to watch that because Pokemon's great. Um. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I am so sorry. Uh, please, 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 again, just... I, I just want to leave it here. I I don't... I... Yeah. That That's my biggest ask, is that we just kind of forget about it. Um, because either I, I, I can... And I won't forget about it. I agonize and paranoid. 
like I freak out about things way too much and I can never forget shit that goes wrong. I'm one of, the, you know, those kind of people where you're like, oh, you remember that one thing I said 15 years ago that I didn't like that made me look like an asshole? I remember that. I remember that every single day before I go to bed at night. <laughs> I'm one of those kind of people. So this isn't going anywhere. Um, but the less power we give it, the better. Um, and hey, there's still always the potential for something to be different, but it won't. Um, anyway. Why was it Marty? Of anyone. <laughs> couldn't have been something I didn't know what it was. It couldn't have been something that had any other context. Dicks. It's not their fault. But fuck. Um, anyway. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, give it a little bit of love. Um, I hope you guys are still at least excited for everything else, Monica. Um, hope you guys understand, and hope you guys are well. Hope you guys had an, had an okay uh, week and stuff, and I will see you guys in episode six whenever that happens to be. <sighs> Fuck. Um, better news. Unrelated news, but better news. Mitru exists. So life's not all bad. Till next time, guys.